Hello everyone, we're back with a brand new section, Data Conversion and Composition. Reasoning about Go's typing system is a critical step to all levels of Go development. This section will show examples of converting between data types, working with very big numbers, working with currency, types of encoding and decoding, including Base64 and GOB, and creating custom collections using closures. Now, we start with the first video of this section, Converting Data Types and Interface Casting. There are convenience functions for converting between numbers with casting between strings and other types, and between interfaces and types using reflection. This video will explore some of these basic conversions that will be used throughout the course. To begin, create a directory section 3. And inside that, create a data conf directory and navigate to it. Now, create a file called dataconf.go and add this code. Next, create a file named stringconf.go and add these contents. Let's take a look at these files in detail. In dataconf.go, show conv demonstrates some type conversion. We have specified an int variable and a float64 variable. We convert the int to a float64 for this calculation. fmt print ln prints the value stored in C. And fmt.sprintf is a good way to convert to strings. At the end, we print the value and the type. Now, in stringconv.go, strconv demonstrates some string conversion functions. It's a good way to convert to and from strings. For that, we have defined this variable. We can specify the base 10 and precision 64-bit. We also try hexadecimal with this line of code. You can also do other useful things like parsing Boolean values. We'd now create a file named interfaces.go and add this entire code. The check type function will print based on the interface type, so we've defined three print statements with cases. The interfaces function demonstrates casting from anonymous interfaces to types. Here, we manually check an interface. And this handles if one fails. Next, create a new directory example and navigate to it. Create main.go for execution. And add these contents. Modify the data conf import to use the path set up earlier. Let's execute example to test the code. Run main.go. OK, so we get this output where all the statements we defined are printed. We demonstrated casting between types by wrapping them in a new type using the string conversion package and by using interface reflection. These methods allow Go developer to quickly convert between various abstract Go types. Switching on type is a way to generalize and is also demonstrated in this video.